After several months of interest rates falling, not just weekly, but almost by the day, especially after Christmas, over the last two or three weeks, the interest rate falls seem to have gone into reverse with some lenders actually slightly increasing their rates. So what's going on? We're getting conflicting reports about property that it is actually showing signs of rising in certain areas whilst all of the behind the scenes indications are that it is still falling. In a previous video I had said when I made a video about the last uh, interest rate change or lack of change uh, when the Monetary Policy Committee last met several people disagreed with my opinion that they should have reduced interest rates. So here is something very interesting. Dr. Roger, Roger Jawalb, a former Bank of England advisor, is on the record saying that he believes interest rates should fall to 2% within months. His reasons for this is that, as we all know, our inflation is not consumer-led inflation. It is what's called a cost push inflation, factors outside the control of the people of this country from the war in Ukraine, rising oil prices, etc. The Bank of England should be lowering interest rates right now. Inflation has fallen, I'll come to that in a minute, um, but, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, inflation has fallen and thus uh, they should take their foot off our throats and lower interest rates because it's killing British business. There's about a half a million British businesses that are said by think tanks to be just about ready to go to the wall and go broke. We still have risks that things could go wrong again because there's the uh, conflict in Ukraine, in Gaza and in the Red Sea and any one of those factors could affect the price of oil or food but that still has absolutely nothing to do with consumer inflation here. It would be a cost push inflation and throttling business, consumers, the country as a whole is a very, very dangerous strategy because they are pushing our country into recession. Estimates are that there are currently 500,000 businesses throughout the UK teetering on the edge. But back to those lenders raising their rates slightly. There may be people out there panicking, thinking that the uh, fall in rates has ended and they might be working their way upwards. That's what the lenders want you to think. There was a surge in pent up demand in January of buyers making offers on properties, applying for mortgages, etc. And the lenders still want you to sign up for their overpriced fixed rates with high application fees and or high early redemption figures so that they can take uh, tie you in before rates really take a tumble. And if they don't take a tumble now, they will definitely have to within a few months because 14 successive interest rate rises on the trot that were for the main part unnecessary have driven an economy that was for the main part not doing too badly um, into recession. Now although on a GDP basis we've only been recession for one quarter, on a per capita basis we have been in recession for seven quarters on the trot. Let that sink in. So in my opinion don't panic and sign yourself up for an overpriced fixed rate because I do believe that rates will continue to fall. Lenders are surprisingly uh, being devious trying to tie you in to higher rates for longer periods so that they can get as much out of you as possible before rates begin to fall. I don't know if they will go as low as 2%. They should do and they may very well need to go that low because despite some of the opinions on, uh, on my previous videos, when the economy grinds to a halt, interest rates need to come down 
to resuscitate the economy and that is necessary now but every day that goes by let alone weeks or months that they delay means that at some point the falls will have to be even more drastic i wonder if the big drops happen just before the election i wonder why hmm. anyway that's all for now as always thank you very much if you have any questions please feel free to get in touch um, sorry I've not been about too much later lately I have had a lot on my plate um, I have been working my way through all of the emails questions and uh, please feel free to keep them coming if I forgot you or missed your message or email please feel free to get in touch again thank you very much and I'll see you next time bye bye for now